Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace, the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And today our topic is consider. Consider the ways of the Lord and come out of the world and out of Babylon. Consider the path to Mount Zion. Consider what is written in Malachi that Elijah is coming before the Lord. And Elijah's spirit is already here, calling you forth to restore the altar to its former glory, to stop your fighting online, and to come together in love, unity and support, to build again the assemblies, the churches of the book of Acts, Acts 2, to come together and share resources, support one another, and lift up the needy, the nameless and faceless. Are you not convicted by the spirit of Elijah of your past sins? Are you not convicted to repent and to ask for forgiveness? Are you not convicted to forgive all your enemies? No, I see you still fighting and saying, oh, this is bad and that is bad and you are still looking for enemies, instead to forgive. Forgiveness is very important. Consider the ways of the Lord. Has Jesus not forgiven all of our sins? Yes, he has. Consider his ways, consider his ministry, how he walked on earth. What has he done? And if you come to a question in your life, then you always ask yourself, what would Jesus do? Would he start to fight? Would he start to be annoyed? Or would he spread love, the love of the Father? Because Jesus has said, everything you see do, me doing has come from the Father. Because the Father and I am one. That was Jesus said. Now if you become closer and closer to what Jesus did, then you also come more and more one with the Father. Love your neighbor as yourself. Brotherly love, that is so important. So consider the ways of the Lord. Jesus is coming right now. He is coming for his bride. But only a bride that is convicted of the sins of the past and that has repented and changed her life. A bride without spot and wrinkles will be taken then will be taken with Jesus into the clouds after the 40 days that his spirit will be on earth for the bride. And when the spirit and the bride will go into the clouds towards third heaven, then the sealed tribulation period will start. And to everybody who is not going with the bride will be the remnant of the church and will pass through the first tribulation area, will pass through the second seal, the third seal, the fourth seal, the fifth seal, until the sixth seal, when Jesus will return for the remnant church with Mount Zion. And then the remnant church, if, and I say if, they have cleaned their dirty garments in the blood of the Lamb, and they have started to consider their sins and started to change their life and come out of Babylon and walk that narrow path towards Mount Zion, then the remnant church, closed and white, will be ruptured into paradise. But only then, my brothers and sisters, it does not stop by believing in Jesus Christ. It is obedience. It is all what Jesus taught us in every of his parable and in all of his ways on earth. And this is what we have to copy. This is what Jesus said, take your cross and follow me. Become as close as possible to our Lord and Savior. Please people, come out of the world. There is nothing there for you. Forget about your careers, about your relationship with the devil in games, in sports, in whatever you do. 
partying, drinking, smoking, drugs, idolatry, fornication, all that should be. I give you a feeling, a pain in your heart if you think about it alone. Not alone doing it. It should pain you. And you should be convicted of the past sins if you have done something like this. And you should repent about it. And then the glory and the grace of the Lord will come and will, will forgive you all the sins that you have done in the past. And then you will change your life. You will never do them again. And you will go forth in love and in support of your neighbors, of the needy, the children, the vulnerable. And you will be a changed person, a newly born person on a new path, not anymore the broad path that everybody is going with one leg in the world, one leg in, in heaven. No, you walk the narrow path completely that path towards eternal life and towards heaven. Walk with us. Step on that path to Mount Zion. Pray as you have never prayed before. Repent of your sins. And if you are reminded about sins by the Holy Spirit or by the Spirit of Elijah, then repent again of them. Because maybe your repentance was not enough. Follow the right path now. This is a time now. Pray. Jesus is here. He will knock at your door. Are you ready to open for him? Or will you open the door and you will still standing in your dirty garments? And God will say, I'm sorry, you are not ready. I cannot take you. It is better you open the door and you are standing in the fine white linen, ready, ready and adorned as a bride. And then the Lord will say, yes, my son, yes, my daughter, this is the time now. This is the time when I come to collect you and when we will go into the clouds. Now, please change your life. Change your ways. Consider the ways of Jesus. Thank you that you have listened to this topic today. And I hope I will see you again tomorrow. Please also consider if the Holy Spirit will guide you to sow into our ministry and to help us to advance our messages to the whole world. Share the messages with your friends and family so that they can subscribe. They can also be part of our websites. The links are in the description box below and in the first pinned comment. So help us to bring forth the messages that Jesus is at the door to all the people so that they can repent and change and be ready to be taken into the clouds. May God bless you and your family abundantly. I will see you again tomorrow. Marana, 